Hi, it's Bruce, and I'd just like to share a few thoughts with you today. Uh, it's it's uh, February 6th here in Dothan, Alabama, and it's a beautiful day here. The bees are working hard. They're starting to bring in pollen, which means things are about to get exciting. I'd like to share a, little, a few thoughts with you today about location of hives. As you can see over my shoulder here, I've got several hives here in my backyard. Uh, neighbors are just across the fence this way, and my house is over on this side. I also have a neighbor back here and a neighbor that, that way as well. And so, you know, the, I've had the bees here for uh, since 2013, so uh, pushing five years, and they seem to be okay. They haven't really bothered the neighbors. I did ask, talk to my neighbors about it beforehand before I got bees in my backyard, and they seemed okay okay with it and so I haven't had any real issues with neighbors when the bees leave the hive they usually will go up pretty quickly and gain altitude uh, with the fence behind them here even though the house is just on the other side my neighbor's house is over there uh, they don't seem to have any issues uh, typically the bees fly out to the front of the hives this way and go up and over my house where they veer one way or the other but if you watch them they, they get high really fast they go up up and and gain altitude and so they really don't seem to bother people a few things to consider when uh, thinking of a location for your hive is um, you want to really avoid putting bees right in an area or where their flight path will interfere with where people or pets um, walk or move a lot. So you want to avoid you know, placing bees, for example, right next to a sidewalk where people are walking all the time or a trail where people are or a driveway. You know, the best thing to do is to, to get them away from there if possible to keep them away from those type of areas. You also, it's a good idea to have a barrier, like my fence over here, or some distance, or my house on this side. It's a good idea to do that. Um, certain cities have ordinances as far as, you know, all this, and I would check into that before you uh, put bees on your, on your property. Um, if you live in the country, um, it's, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, if you're in a heavily wooded area, you know, I don't know that I'd put them right down in the middle of the woods, but you could put them in the tree line. A lot of people do that on the edge of the trees or um, along the fence line. You can, some people say you should put your bees out in the full sunlight because the bees will work longer uh, during the day. However, in extremely hot areas, that may not be the wisest thing because they'll have to work harder to keep the hive cool. Um, uh, up north, I know there's a lot, there's, a different, uh, there's some different principles, especially in the wintertime. People sometimes will try to provide a windbreak for those bees in the winter time when it gets super cold, if it's really windy. They also will provide insulation for their hives um, to keep them alive and help maintain the hive temperature in the winter time. But the bees really are pretty adaptable. I have hives in right now in five different locations that I manage. Um, some are in mostly pretty much full sunlight. Uh, some are in uh, partial shade or mottled sunlight. And then summer is pretty shady there the whole time, for the most part. And they all seem to do pretty well. Um, the location does not seem to make that much of a difference from what I can tell with the production of these hives. Um, one thing to consider as well, some people will say, here in the south we have quite a problem with hive beetles uh, getting into hives. Some people will say that the beetles are worse in a shaded area. I don't know that, that's, that I've seen that to be the case so much. I've had some hive beetles in all my locations um, and it just seems like they are just worse in some areas than others. Don't know if shade has a lot to do with that. Um, but those are just some things to think about. Bees are pretty adaptable. You know in nature they live in all different kinds of situations. They can live in the wall of a house. I actually have one right now here in my backyard I'm nursing through the winter time that that went in a five gallon bucket. A guy called me and I'm going to put him in a box here uh, in, in a little, you know, within a few weeks, put them in a, I'm seeing if they make it through the winter, I'm going to put them in a, in a regular hive. Um, they'll get in attics, they'll get in uh, walls of houses, they'll get in trees in the woods, and some, they can be low to the ground or, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet up in the air. People keep them on rooftops in big cities, on balconies. Um, and so bees are pretty adaptable. Um, I wouldn't stress too much about it. They do need to have a water source fairly nearby, uh, within a mile or two at, at most. Um, and you need to consider your neighbors if they have a pool. Sometimes the bees like, like to like a pool. And so you might want to get a water source a little closer by that you can fix for them yourself. 
keep them out of your neighbor's pool. But for the most part, bees are adaptable. You know, commercial beekeepers put them on pallets, set them off in groves and, and fields and, and all over the place, all over the United States, and the bees do fine. And so I wouldn't stress too much about location but I would just take some of these points into consideration when setting up your hives. Um, so I thought I'd just share that with you, and I hope, hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you some good information, and I hope you'll uh, take some time to look into my blog. I just started a blog. It's at brucesbees.com. I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully there will be some good information there. I personally am not an expert in beekeeping, but I'm learning all the time. Um, I've had bees now for five years. Like I say, right now it's uh, February 6, 2018, almost five years. I'll be starting my sixth year in April, and so I'm learning. The bees will be teaching me, I'm sure, for the rest of my life, as long as I keep bees, and, and I just love it. I love working with these fascinating little creatures. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it was interesting to you, and, and maybe if you decide to get bees, it'll help you figure out where to put them. And, uh, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching.